Welcome back. Within the hour, we learned Mayor Ted Wheeler plans to issue an emergency declaration tomorrow to expand services to Portlanders on the streets. No specifics have been released yet, and it comes as Queen Six learned about a potential big setback for a plan to get people living on the harshest homeless camps off the street. Yeah, our investigator Dan Tilkin joining us now. And Dan, you learned the organization expected to run one of those villages, Safe Rest Villages, is pulling out now? Yeah, so we're talking about the village plan for right here, the Sears Armory near Multnomah Village one of seven proposed locations. Uh, the organization that Housing Commissioner Dan Ryan is negotiating with also runs the Bybee Lakes Hope Center. Uh, we have learned uh, the group is pulling out because it won't have enough control over who is placed in the Safe Rest Village. We took out the guard station that would have been here. Today, COIN became the first news crew Alan Evans has invited into the renovated Helping Hands Bybee Lakes Hope Center the former Wapato jail turned homeless shelter. In recent days, it expanded capacity to serve over 300 people who were living on the streets and was in negotiations to be part of the Safe Rest Village plan. Love Dan Ryan. I, I love his mission. But Evan says his organization can no longer be part of Dan Ryan's plan to help people at the proposed Sears Armory Safe Rest Village site because they may be going through uncontrolled harsh addiction and suffering severe mental illness. If you guys aren't going to do it, who can do it? I, I, well, I, I, I'm sure there's organizations out there that can figure that piece out. But for us, we've got to know that we can keep, we've got to keep the people that surround that facility safe and provide the best, safest service we can provide for people. Evans' decision is based on the ordinance that created the Safe Rest Village concept, which defines them as alternatives to high-impact encampments, where there's evidence of conspicuous drug use, where the size of the camps are large, and there are verified reports of violence or criminal activity. In neighborhood Zoom meetings, property owners have told Commissioner Dan Ryan the same concerns. I'm talking about when you when you move people from the mm. high impact camps, why, what are you going to do to prevent the same problem? We're not bringing a van to a big, uh, as you call it, the high, what'd you call it, high impact camping um, and putting them in a van and then dropping them off at the village. I think that's what it feels like when I hear that question. And so the reality is that it's a much more methodical, and trauma-informed process. The Joint Office of Homeless Services, which will implement Safe Rest Villages, says clients will get services. I don't know that folks who choose shelter are going to be fundamentally dangerous or unsafe. I think they want to be somewhere safe. They want, you know, the place to go to the bathroom. They want a place to cook a meal in a kitchen. They want a locked door. I'm one of those guys. I was a high-impact guy. I was. My life was hell. I lived on the streets for 27 years. And there was a time that if you'd have pulled me from a situation, you would have placed me someplace, I probably wouldn't have behaved either. Dan Ryan's office sent us a statement that reads in part, I'm disappointed that Helping Hands is declining to move forward with our potential Safe Rest Village partnership. Many existing services are not effectively moving people into recovery. I believe we could have come to an agreement for the Sears Armory Safe Rest Village with compromises on both ends, and I hope Helping Hands will come back to the table. Well, it's interesting that they, he said in there that he does support Dan Ryan's efforts, Dan. It, yeah, and he said that he thinks the law would have to be rewritten for them to participate in this. Now, there are two other organizations that have already agreed to run two other uh, of the shelters, this one downtown and this one here at Menlo Park. The others don't have organizations yet, but maybe one of those two will okay. step up. Yeah, that would be good. And, of course, if that happens, we'll continue to keep you posted as well. Dan, you've been staying on top of this, and we appreciate it. All right.